Hello guys and girls and welcome back to my Dark Souls 2 series. On the last episode we actually killed like 7 million gargoyles and we got a key to the Lost Bastilles. Now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to travel back to the Lost Bastilles or the Lost Bastille because we actually got a key that op I'm guessing it's going to open that door that we could not open when on our first trip over here. So, uh, we're going to go and check that out and see if maybe we could progress that way. If not, then it's not a big deal. We'll just find something else to do because I have discovered some new uh, areas that we could go to and explore together. Now, uh, there's dogs. What would make this encounter way more challenging if, if that guy fought me alongside these two dogs? Can I backstab you? I cannot backstab you. What I can do is combo you for like ever and ever. And I'm pretty sure that'll make you feel a little bit silly. Uh, Alright. So, I'm pretty sure that the door is around this way. We should be closing in on it. I was, able to, I was actually able to get that double kill right there. And this is the door I was talking about. Can we open it? Yes, we can. What's behind here, though? A chest. Two chests. And a blacksmith. Hello. It looks like you're going to hit me there. I want to rob you before you help me out. So don't hold this against me. Heavy bolt. Cool. Iron arrows, also pretty cool. I'm just gonna hit all of these chests to make sure they're not mimics. I'm making sure you're not hiding mimics here, sir. Large Titanite, great. Titanite shards, great. What's behind over here? Uh, stairs, okay, so. And a bonfire, awesome. So with this bonfire, I'm guessing this will be the bonfire that we used to travel to this blacksmith whenever we need him. He's probably better than the first one, or I'm expecting him to be better. Hello. <laughs> oh, why can't they all be this easy? So, are you going to help me? Maybe if I sit down at the bonfire and come back again, maybe then he'll help me. But for right now, he seems to be completely useless and kind of psychotic. Hello. I hope to fetch a new ember. Where, do I hell, where the hell do I get a new ember? Do I get a new ember from the thing you're sitting on? I hope to okay, never mind. He's useless. I did all this for a useless blacksmith. Out of here. So we'll travel back to Majula. We'll. What will we do? We'll. What? How the hell did I get all this? Black flame dagger, black flame. Flamestone parma. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is. Where the hell did I get that from? Um. Huh. Uh, yeah, I got two of these now. Oh, well, those are hollow soldier thingies. This shield is better than my other shield. I Wait, never mind. I didn't even compare them. Uh, it's better when it comes to poison and bleeding. It weighs less. And it gives me more strength. Pretty cool shield. Why not? 
that roll. Uh, I'm not sure why I got all those items. I knew you'd be around. Can I buy a new ember from you? There's this guy and he's kind of weird and he, he's just really weird. He's really, really weird. Uh, I don't know how to describe him to you. Alright, so let's see if we could upgrade our claymore. There you go. Plus 6, plus 7, plus 8, and almost all the way there. Awesome. That's really good. Uh, yeah, uh, that's really, really good. I should be doing significantly more damage. I like, I think doubled. You've been long. Well, I basically doubled its. No interest. Its level. So I think it was like level four, maybe like three, and I doubled it, probably to eight. So if it was four, I doubled it to eight. If it was three, then I more than doubled it to eight. Yeah. So let's make our way back to this guy. You need armor. What do you have? You have nothing new. You're useless. Are you sure? Well, well you could sell out all you want because I'm not gonna get anything from you because you're a butthole and all your stuff I've already seen before. It's time to level up your equipment, yo. Okay. So we're gonna make our way down here to this map area. And you can see now there's three flames, so I'm not sure what that means or if it even means anything, but I do know that it's there and the guy who's supposed to be here isn't here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where he is. I don't know where he might be. I don't know. So... Let's make our way out of this place, because there's really nothing for us to do here. Uh, is it time already? Should I? Let's make our way down through here. Now, I have the silver cat ring, so I will take reduced fall damage. But that doesn't mean I'm invincible by any means. So I got a radiant life gem. And I have no idea. This is the first time I'm actually traversing this area, so I haven't done this off camera or anything. I just... yeah. Pharaoh's Lockstone. Okay, that might be useful. Um, okay, fall down to this lower one. We're going to use a Life Gem. Uh, how the hell am I going to do this? I think I could go like that. And make it. Yes, I did it. Okay. Use another Life Gem. To heal me up. Fall down through here. Hello. I hear fire, grave of saints. And I was right. There's a bonfire down here. Hello, bonfire. Nice to meet you and make your acquaintance. I am Applebite of Kareem? I don't know. There's a ladder. Where does that ladder go to? I wanna can I bust Okay, I might die here. So what? Bust through it. Nope. No, I died. Okay. I kind of expected to die. But it was worth a try. I want to see if I could, like, run and break through those wooden, like, beams. But it appears not. And I, could, I did not make my way to the... I, was, I wasn't able to make my way to the ladder. Which I'm actually really curious about now. Like, I want to get to that ladder. Do you think I'm supposed to from up there fall on top of them because I think I fell on one and it broke so that might be indication of how to break them but if that's the case then I still have to die in order to do that so uh hello you're an enemy because I can't talk to you so let's just get you out the way um let's get you out the way there's skulls in the rocks I'm not sure how, how I feel about that. Or the fact that there's a million skulls down here. Hello, rat. Uh, rats are one of the more annoying enemies from Dark Souls 1. Not because they're strong, but because their patterns are kind of weird and they're kind of quick and 
all that good stuff. You should really drop some like human effigy for me, but I guess not. I can't squeeze through there. That looks like a smiley face up there. Hello, Mr. Smiley Face. It's like winking at us. Oh, you think I look good in this armor? Yes, I do. Oh, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. I'll see you later. See ya. All right, let's make our way through this area. I want that thing in the middle. Uh, how do I get there? I guessing I, I'm guessing I have to fall through that upper hole right there, cause I don't see any elevation around here that I could maybe like cheat my way in there. So there's coffins. There's lights. This reminds me so much of the catacombs. Uh, of course, it's not the catacombs. So. Pick that up, small silky stone, more rats, hello rats, and they're petrifying rats, I think, uh, which isn't good for my health or for anyone else's in that matter. We're going to use the feral stone right here, we'll see what it does. Uh, I'm not sure what it did, I'm not sure I'll ever be sure what it did, did it do something back here? No, it didn't. Not to my knowledge. Uh, maybe it's something up ahead then. Well, if it's not back, if it's not... Wait, what's... There's another one right here. Can I use it? Open wide! Say ah! I hear... Bridge! Hello, bridge. Uh, sure, use another one here. Uh, is that good or bad? It's water. It doesn't seem to really do anything, so I'm guessing it'll be good in the long run, maybe. I don't know. That's, that's really weird. There's a ladder up here that I'm going to take up, definitely. And maybe it'll lead me to an area where I could drop. Roy the Explorer, where are you? Come over here, you schmuck. I'll beat you down with my bare fist. Wait, what the hell are you shooting? A crossbow? You have, like, an invisible crossbow. That's really cool. And you're kind of dangerous, because that was a lot of... Oh, rats. That was a lot of rats. Yes. Yeah, you have an invisible... You have invisible stuff, and I'm being surrounded by rats, which I'm going to end up having to kill... Like so, okay, uh, we're gonna S this up right quick. Please S this. Okay, I S this up. I'm almost petrified. I do not want to become petrified. You, my sir, you have to go. I don't like you. You're banished from my realm forever and ever and ever. Never come back. Now, there are rats here. There's lots of rats. What's over here? This looks really cool. And I see those rats under. Don't think I don't see you. Can I break this? Can I break it? Nope. Are they gonna come for me? I don't know. Look at these big skeletons. There's like the Tomb of the Giants. Uh, should I light a torch? Oh. Okay, now you guys wanna play. Now that I had my back turned and I was like, okay, I guess they're not coming out. I see how it is. I see your game. I can use a life gem because we have like a million of them. A million and two, in fact. Uh, we're going to use some of these lock stones for whatever purpose they may give. Uh, why are you throwing up? Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's. I'm pretty sure that's going to do it for this one. So now there's a big puddle of destruction, right? I think. Does my Essence? No, my Essence does not have durability. But, yeah. Okay, so we'll use one here, because that should drop the bridge. Um, yep. This place is pretty cool. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It reminds me a lot of, uh, what's that place called? The one with the king rat, and, you know, he was like, 
use the feral lock stones to wreak havoc on all those who they approach my domain and then you're like okay whatever dude so i'm guessing that's a boss up ahead which i'm i want to fight we probably will fight them before the end of the episode but i really want to make my way over to this area uh coffins 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 Whisper of Despair and a Torch. Petrified Rats. I can't break them. Oh, hello. Hello, rats. Hello, three rats. Hello, four rats. Five rats. Six rats. Seven rats. Eight rats. You're all dead rats. A Mother Goose poem written by yours truly. Okay, this is back the way so is there nothing in this room I feel like there should be also I haven't seen any 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 summon signs or read messages so I wonder if I'm still offline I might be in fact the odds of me being can, so can you not pass that? Is that a thing? You cannot pass that puddle? I guess not. Okay. So you're dead. Whatever. I think I'm just going to make my way to the boss. How many feral stones do I have? Uh, I have one more. So yeah, I don't want to use it up right this instant. Even though I'm curious to see what this one does. Even though I believe it's just going to make that one throw up as well. So we will sit here. We will use a human effigy and see if we can get any NCP help. I'm specifically looking for Vengar... Vengarl? Vengargol? Because he said he would help me and... He's basically the most awesome... If not, the most awesome NCP. Actually, I take that back. Lucatil is still my favorite, by far. By far, she's my favorite NCP. In Dark Souls 2, thus far, that might change, it might not change, it might stay Lucatil forever, and I'm totally okay with that. If that ends up being the case, you actually pass the, the scary, scariness. Poison Moss, that's great. Don't really care for it. I missed, I did not miss there or there, and you are dead, my young rat, sir. Um, Make our way through that. Hmm. I don't see any summon signs. Any at all. So I'm wondering if there's even any summons over here. There might not be. And if that's the case, then I'm just wasting my time. But it's fine. This episode's been short so far. So. Yeah. It's been short, so. I still have some time to spare. Exploring, there's like three rats in there which aren't there anymore. Actually, yeah, there they are. There they are, you guys came out to play. You're dead and you're about to be dead and now you are dead and... Okay, so I don't see any NCP summon signs around here. What I do see is lots and lots of lots and lots and lots and lots of water flowing through that yearn of so do these guys not fight like will they not get up to fight me because I'm not sure if I should be offended or if you know I feel bad for them that they don't have the will to even try to kill me you know I have a lot of souls and they say these souls could maybe perhaps remedy you but I guess that does not tickle your fancy There you go, you're dead, you're dead, you're all dead, and by you, you, you all, I mean, like, you three rats. Do, 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 uh, I still don't know what this does, I guess it cleanses me in case, like, I'm poisoned or something, I'm not sure, not sure at all, I... I'm basically, I basically searched this whole area, or what I know of it, 
at least. So I think I'm just going to make my way. I want to use this one. Why the hell not? And yeah, it did just do exactly as I said, and it's just going to spew out some poison. Thank you for doing that and being basically useless. So we're going to fight the boss right quick and hopefully defeat it. If there's a boss, there, it might just be a new area in which I would feel really silly. And it seems to be just another area. So, nope, battle music. I hear battle music. It's me against the rats. That's the boss. Um, what if... This, 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 <laughs> this music is like too epic for this encounter, I think. Which I think is really funny. Okay. I'm gonna take this time to Estus right quick. Oh, I could become petrified. That's why it's dangerous. That's why it's dangerous. Okay, that makes sense. I was just taking hits like, oh yeah, no no problem. But yeah, I can get petrified. Van Royal Rat Vanguard. Um didn't I already fight one of you? Oh my god, I'm like really like almost, almost, almost petrified. So I'm gonna run around the ring a little bit, let my bar go down. Um, yeah, that's, that's, do I have anything to cure that, I wonder? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Oh my god, um. I'm poisoned, and I'm almost petrified. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 poison! Uh, don't poison me, or don't kill me from poison. Um, okay, you're dead. You're dead. Um, there's still like a million of them. I'm gonna get you since you're all by yourself. Ha ha ha. Don't stray from the group, you silly goose. Alrighty. And with that, I'm almost dead. I'm gonna have to S this up right quick. This boss doesn't seem that hard either. It's just uh, taking your time, making sure you're not poisoned or... Okay, as soon as I say, make sure you're not poisoned, I became poisoned myself, and or petrified. So, um, I'm gonna make my way over here now because I've been, uh, I've basically been, uh, surrounded over in that other area. So, there's two more dead, um, I'm guessing I need to find specific rats to kill. It's not just like I could kill any rat and have the boss H bar drop, so, um, still looking for those, still looking, um, I got hit right there, I'm gonna start using life gems, cause I'm running out of essences, I'm becoming petrified, slowly but surely, um, I'm not sure how to feel about this, you're dead, um, you're dead, um, you two should be dead? Nope, you're not. Okay. Um, making my way over here. I'm gonna use this life gem to kind of negate the effect of the poison and pop another one to maybe heal my heal myself a little bit better. Uh, make my way over back this way. Use another life gem, because why not? Okay, you're dead. Oh uh, god. Oh god. So if I just get in here, maybe I could kill like a couple like that. Okay, that's good. That's good. I feel fairly positive about that. Um, you're why? Why don't you die from one R two attack? You should be dead. You should all be dead. Um, and more of them just keep dropping. So that's great, right? Right, guys. Um. Rat guys, haha, ha, rat guys, right, rat, okay, guess, guess it wasn't funny. Claymore is at risk, which is something I did not want to do, or I did not want to happen. All these rats are leaving, thank the, the higher being up above that protected my soul from being devoured by rats. I switched to my bastard sword because my claymore was almost destroyed. And hello!
Why comest thou here, human? Thy treason will not go on. Be gone. I will gaze upon. Join the Racking Covenant. Didn't I already join you before? My servant. Speak thy mind. The insolent fools line up to tr my servant. Disp Knowest thee of the lockstones? Thou art you. I know thy. Okay. Um. Look at this. This is pretty awesome. So I guess you just fall through here. Pharaoh's lockstone. Thank you. I wasted like a million of them. No, don't. Oh god, that was really, really close to me just like falling to my death. Um. This is just a walkway. That's cool. Um. Hmm. I definitely want this over here. Pick that up. Bleed stone. Okay, I'm guessing that here is bleeding. Uh, there's that item over there and that chest over there as well. Can I make that jump? Probably not. Will I give it a try? Hell yeah, I will. So, put these away. Don't need any distractions while making this jump. Alright, so I'm going to curve my run and jump. And I made it. I made it. I made it. Open this chest. Just watch it be a mimic and eat my face for not checking it. It is Ash Knuckle Ring. Uh, I'm not sure what that does. Oh, I could have just came over here and jumped this way. Didn't really have to risk that whole humongous jump. Uh, what's down there, I wonder? And I will continue wondering because I'm not going to go down and check. Put my shield back on and my sword. My sword. Um... No, nothing. Illusionary walls, maybe. Guess not. That's cool, too. Didn't want any illusionary walls there anyways. And where, where are we? I see death and nothing but death under me. So I guess we're not supposed to go that way. We're actually going to make our way down to that part where I was like, I wonder what's down there. And I was like, I will never know because I'm not going to go down there to find out. And before we move on, I'm going to put back my armor because I need some sort of armor in my life. I need some lady in my life to... Uh, I don't know. Alright, so we're going to make our way down here. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be lethal un unless... Hello. I'm guessing those explode. Like so. Yep, they explode. Um... Actually, I could use... I could be using my Estus. I don't need to. Are you guys, like, unlimited? Like, are you guys just gonna keep coming out of there? Or is there a certain number of you guys? Um, I'm gonna make my way to the right. Because I have a good feeling about this. And by good feeling, I mean I'm totally screwed. When it comes to regards to anything. Oh my god, this place is humongous. Okay, uh, let's check the other the other side. The other way that is hopefully the right way to a bonfire. Because, you know, my claymore is still pretty beat up. And I would like to get my essences back if possible, sir. And it does not seem like it's possible. So, I'm going to end the episode right here. Next time, we're going to probably go through that door right up ahead. Make our way down those ladders and find nothing but despair down there. You know what I could do is just use a homeward bone and get out of here. But what's the fun in that, right? So we'll continue our adventures on the next episode of Dragon Ball Dark Souls 2. And if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and or favorite it. Leave me some comments down below. And if you want to see more Dark Souls 2 gameplay from my channel, make sure to subscribe. And... Like always, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Johnny.